Okay, well, welcome to another bar modeling challenge question. This one is actually quite a difficult one. Um, and it's a difficult one because of the language used to ask the question and how much is going on. So Jamie ate two of her muffins. If Jamie had not eaten any of her muffins and had instead given 23 of them to Jim, both of them would have had the same number of muffins. And what we're asked is how many more muffins did Jamie have than Jim after eating the two muffins? So um, really, this is a complicated question because of the language and not because of the maths involved. But well, let's let's have a go at it anyway. So we have this thing, Jamie ate two of her muffins, but the situation, we immediately learn to ignore this because we've got this hypothetical situation here. So that's where we'll start. If Jamie had not eaten any of her muffins and had instead given 23 of them to Jim, both of them would have had the same number of muffins. So that's what we'll work on. Um, and pet peeve giving people this the a name names beginning with the same initial letter it's um quite annoying because you just want to um write initials to mark out your bars but there we go right let's have a look so we have got um Jamie and Jim and we know that Jamie has more muffins than Jim. It's Jamie that gives muffins to Jim. And we also have this, how many more here? So let's start. We've got, I'm going to do it down here. So Jamie and we've got Jim. Right. So we know that Jamie has more. And I'm just going to draw a bar for Jamie and a shorter bar for Jim. And we don't know what the size of these bars are at all. Um, but we do know that Jamie has more and that's what I've shown here. <clears throat> now, what else do we know? We know that if Jamie in this hypothetical situation had instead given 23 muffins to Jim, both of them would have had the same number of muffins. Now, now I'm going to mark in where Jamie and Jim have the same amount. So this amount is the same as this. Jamie has more. And we need to look at this and think, well, how much of this block does Jamie have to give to Jim for the two resulting blocks to be the same size? And hopefully you can you can see that actually I would have to cut this one in half and then that would go to Jim. OK, so you can see if I moved that block here and gave that to Jim, then they would both have the same number of muffins. So that tells us that this has a value of 23 because we know that 23 muffins, if given to Jim, would result in them both having the same number of muffins. See, I'm having to use complicated language just to explain it because of this complicated wording of the question. Okay, so so this would be 23. Now, if this is 23, this is this is half of this block. Okay, so that means that this whole block is represents 46 muffins. 23 times two. OK, oh, I should write it out and be good. 23 times 2 equals 46. So we know that in the original situation, when they both had muffins, Jamie had 46 more muffins than Jim. But that's not what we're then asked. So actually what we should have done is, is underlined our initial question because what we're asked, we're going back then to this to this situation here. How many more muffins did Jamie have than Jim after eating the two muffins? So this situation is, is the original situation before muffins were eaten. So now we want to we we want two muffins, okay, come off 
Jamie's amount there. Okay. All right, that's two. So the answer must be 46 subtract two, which of course gives us 44. And yes, that is one of the answers that we are given. Okay, so um, so the model itself, I don't think was that tricky. Really, what was tricky here was the language that was used to ask the question. And I think that would probably trip quite a lot of children up.